Okay, for this projection of the mandible, we'll be doing the AP Towns view. Uh, this is going to differ slightly from the view that you do for the TMJs in that we are going to include the entire mandible. Uh, so much like the Towns view for the skull, we'll do a 30 degree caudal angle. We place the patient's OML perpendicular to the image receptor, but our central ray is going to be about an inch distal to the nasion. Uh, so we've got our patient already with the back against the board. I'm going to have you tuck your chin in. Too far. Come back. Come back. There you go. Right there. All right. Got a hypermobile patient here. I'm going to just slide you over a little bit here. Obviously, my field of view is extremely wide here, so I'm going to collimate. Make sure you don't collimate off. The mandible itself, you need from the condyles down to the mentum. I'm just going to move my marker in a little bit, but it's a little bit behind him. I'm putting it in the lower angle of the light field because the mandible comes to a V and I have room off to the side. So I have a right marker down here. And it looks really low, like it's centered over his T spine, and that's just because of the 30 degree caudal angle. So I think that looks pretty good. We're going to take this on suspended respiration.